name is Sudo Medina. I'm the founder, executive director of Exodus Transitional Community. Exodus is a nonprofit in East Harlem that works, at, as well as Newburgh and Poughkeepsie, that works with women and men being released from prison, as well as the preventive side, making sure we can stop some of our young people from going in. Um, again, 23 years old. I started this when I came home. I did 12 years. I think for me, the, the wake up call was seeing the goodness in people when I was inside. You know, mm. you, you recognize the humanity when we're all in a cage together. We recognize that we want something better for ourselves. And for me, the birth of Exodus was that. Looking around, you know, you're in a cell and you're saying, this ain't me. My life wasn't created to be this. There's something else out there for me. And, you know, you start the work. You start the work inside. And, and it was just a natural succession once I did get released to be able to do this work, to be able to have a platform for sisters and brothers when they come home, considering the job market was so horrific. So, you know, again, we've been in existence the last 23 years. Um, started with myself and a couple other people. Uh, to this day, we have a, I got a staff of about 300 people. Yeah. We manage six hotels for the city for people coming out of Rikers Island, as well as state prisons. Uh, we have a wellness center, I have a, a, a substance abuse clinic that, that you'll hear Dana talk some about. We have a, a center for trauma innovation, I have an alternative to incarceration program. Um, I got about 50 staff going into Rikers Island now. Um, we're trying to reduce some of the violence we see with our young people right at this point. You know, we see a lot of gang violence. For us, that's a priority. Um, and what you see now, we're in our music studio, so we have our Exodus Productions. Where we try and, you know, I always say we're going to trick some young folk. They all think they can rap, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to trick them. I'm going to say, come on in. You know, once yeah. they're in here, we got them. You know, and that's when we really do the work, right? Who better, who better than us to tell them, you, you could avoid this path, right? You don't have to go to prison. You ain't got to be in Comstock or Clinton mm -hmm. locked in 23 hours a day, right? You, there's another way to do this. Um, so for us, Exodus, you know, it's, 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 it's what we do daily. It's the lives that we live, man. I think the biggest success we have is... About 85% of my staff has gone through the justice system. Mm -hmm. So I got brothers and sisters here who served 40 years, who served six months. Mm -hmm. uh, right. But for me, that was an important ingredient to make sure Exodus work. Who better than us to tell somebody, there's a hole there, man. I walked through that hole already. You ain't got to walk through that hole. Promote with them. You know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we got a, a team that's amazing. And for us, man, we're just trying to transform New York City. Newburgh and Poughkeepsie, and put another face on the space when we talk about, you know, uh, rehabilitation, when we talk about coming home, when we talk about those things, you know, we, we are not, and I think I heard you say this, Anthony, the worst moment of our lives. Man. Yeah, we did this, that happened, but this is who we are today, and I think we have to get not only folk, local people, right, but the country to see this is who we are today. We can't be, you know, walking around with scarlet leather the rest of our lives, right, so we get penalized anywhere we go, right, the felony... Kind of not, yeah, that, that happened then, but this is everything else I'm doing. You know, I'm going to tell you a quick story because it's, it, it's, it shows the impact of the felony as well. You know, so I got my son. He's, he's, my son is 16 now. My daughter's 14. And my son, I don't know, three, four years ago had a trip, one of these overnight trips. Now, mind you, I don't, I don't but, you know, I'm on the governor's council. I'm on the mayor's council. I'm, anything you can do in New York, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm probably a part of it. And I don't say this in a boisterous way. I just mm -hmm. say this. To exemplify a story. Oh, right. So with all this I've done, and I sat with the governor, I've sat in meetings, and been able to do all this. My son has an overnight trip. They're doing this little camping thing for the school. So I'm like, yo, we in. Meanwhile, he's like, yo, damn, you camp? I'm like, man, I camped all my life. Meanwhile, I'm in the South Bronx. I ain't know nothing about camping. He ain't going to know that. I'm going to tell him, no, we, we, we going to do this. No. They bring the form. He bring the whole form home. He's excited. Yo, dad, come on, man. Let's, we ready? I got the trip. I bought the camping. out. like, we doing this. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Mm -hmm. One of the questions, you know? Wow. So it doesn't matter mm -hmm. the success. It wasn't a timeline on that question. It was, have you ever been committed of, of a felony? Mm -hmm. So sadly, because I don't want to scar him and those students around him, so I said, you know what? I couldn't go no more. Why don't you go with our uncle, blah, 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 this, that, the other. So I, couldn't, I didn't go to the trip wow. because I didn't want that exposure on him, mm -hmm. you know, at, at that early age. So I think it's, it's something that we have to really look at and talk mm -hmm. about, right? This is not, we are not the worst moment of our lives. Mm -hmm. We have to be able to talk about some other things and what we're doing now.